Well met travellers, this is a very loud game. <laughs> we are playing Lego Races today. Lego Races being a 1999 game based on 1999 or 1998. I will check the box. I have the Masterpiece Edition, which is a bit of a shame. I would rather have it in a big box, but they're very expensive. Do 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 do, 1999, I was right. Hooray. Yep, this is a a racing game based on many of the front Lego franchises in the late 90s. You'll notice here we have, what's it called from, what's it, yeah, Fright Nights. Got this guy from Fright Nights, can't remember his name. He was supposed to have a cape, but he doesn't have one here. But, oh, and here we have a demo. Come on, game, you're doing my job for me. Well, it's a good chance for me to talk about the game while it plays itself. Good stuff. And as you can see, well, you can see a lot of the themes already. For example, we've got the Islanders theme here. We've also got the Pirates theme. The guy ahead is Captain Redbeard, who is much cooler than whichever pirate they've got going on these days. And the AI sucks at this game. But that's fine, it means I'll have an easy time recording and commentating and all that. So you can see there's a lot of different power-ups as well. It's it's a standard sort of racing game, but it's it's cool because it's got all these Lego Lego themes in it and the late nineties in Lego was definitely the coolest time. Slightly biased because that's when I was born and therefore had a lot of this Lego given to me as birthday presents and so on and so forth. So I'm a huge fan of all the themes that they've got in this game. And actually many of the minifigures you'll see I have sat on my shelf to the left of me. Including um, King Kahuka who is driving the car here. Can't see him actually, where is he? Uh, oh no, there he is, he's sat in a boat with Achu, another uh, guy who looks like he's from the Islanders theme but actually isn't. <sighs> Sneaky. Right, well we'll stop this demo. Hello, I can't remember your name. Right, well what should we do first? Well let's build a car. So, we can choose to... This is my car that I had previously, of course. Uh, we can make a new racer, though, so I can show you how this thing works. Now then, I'm going to try and model this after one of my favourite minifigures. Hopefully I have got all the pieces. We've got uh, quite a variety of headpieces. Uh, there's a Knigget's helmet, for example. Uh, lots of different racing helmets. And uh, a light a wizard's hat, a Robin, Robin Hood. Or Robin Hood, as he was called. Uh, I don't know which helmet to have. I'll have a Ice Planet 2000 helmet. There we go. I know far too much about Lego. Uh, sunglasses? Yeah, why not? Uh, which body shall I have? Explorians, maybe? Ooh, I'm not having that one. I'm not keen on that one. Uh, we could go with Blackjack Hawkins. Or we could just make a completely Ice Planet 2000... 2002, is it? I can't remember. Ice Planet. Let's just call it Ice Planet. Yeah, I could make an entirely Ice Planet figure, but that's a bit boring, isn't it? It's a bit unoriginal. I could go with uh, Captain Redbeard body. Go with this weird boilerplate. And then we're back to the start. I think I'll go with Ice Planet. Uh, and I'll just check my Ice Planet minifigure and see what kind of leg he has. Where is he? Can't see him. That's no good. Oh well, uh, we'll have to guess then. Oh no, there he is, he's fallen over. Uh, oh, I was right. Black legs, blue. Belt thing, good. <laughs> right, so there's my Ice Planet guy, obviously. Uh, oh, we could have a robot. We could have Blackjack Hawkins. I think that that's the head for the guy who was on the main menu. That's a bit frightening, isn't it? Uh, that's Robin Hood. No, I think we'll go with Blackjack Hawkins, because I like that guy. Uh, you can also mix and get a random minifigure, but I'm not going to do that, because it took me forever to do this. And then we make the license, which is completely pointless. Uh, player. There. Snapshot. We can change his facial expression. I don't know whether this does anything at all, but we'll do it anyway. And then we build the car. This is the most exciting bit. So, what we do first is select a chassis. Which should we go for? I can have the pirate one. I've not completed much of this. I actually had it 100 percent at one point, and then, uh, well, 99.9 percent. There was this one track that I couldn't do on time trial. But uh, I reinstall my computer, and um, obviously it's not saved. Also, look at my minifigures' legs—they're really teeny tiny. Uh, 
Which one shall I go for? I think I might go with the pirate one, actually. We can quick build, which gives us an automated thing, which is a bit boring. I think that's the default car when it's when the pirate's racing in it. Oh, we can have that monstrosity that you wouldn't be able to drive with. But we'll remove the bricks and build it ourselves, because... Uh, I might actually speed this bit up if I don't say anything interesting. So, start with something along for the front. Uh, that looks like a control panel, we'll have that. So you can rotate the brick and you can move it around. It's, all, it's actually best to use these controls because otherwise you have to use a numpad and it's a bit awkward. Uh, yeah, we'll stick that down there. And then we'll have a similar brick. We we'll could have an Explorian brick. Uh, is there anything cooler? Oh. I'll have that on the back, definitely. Um, let's rotate the camera around a bit. I could have a different control panel on each side just to make any anybody who's got OCD shiver and quiver in fright. I will do that. Many of my friends will be horrified. And that looks alright to me. So I've just pressed this little dude down here. Finish. And there is my car and driver. Let's take it for a test drive. If I can remember the controls, hopefully I can. Whee! And this is the driving mechanics. I cannot remember how to fire my weapon. Alright, so space is the... Uh, you can't actually rebind controls. And because my keyboard's stupid, um, I can't hold space up and left at the same time. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem. What's fire? Shift? No. Alt? Z? C? Return! That's it! What an awkward fire button. And I can't remap it because this game's so old that it crashes when you try and remap the keys. Which is fantastic. Anyway, yeah. That's how the driving works. I win. So there we go. Now we must go into a circuit race. I will do, do a circuit that I haven't done. Uh, I can't do that one because it's locked. The unknown thing about this game is, actually, I'll show you. Note down the just just remember what these tracks are. Okay? Now if I go to circuit number four. Can't help thinking they could have done a lot more in terms of tracks, but yeah. You've got six circuits, three of which are repeats just backwards, and then you've got the rocket racer run, which is really hard. Um we'll do circuit number three because I haven't done it. Battle about law, that's what it's called. Look, there's uh Blackjack Hawkins. There's Baron whatever he's called, and there's a UFO guy. Right, and let's go with my man. Whee! Oh yes, here we go. Psst, don't expect to win. Not against the frightful power of Basil the Bat Lord. Why, what power do you have? Okay, reckons he's all at him, doesn't he? He's got a very cool car, I have to say. Okay, I pressed that thing at the wrong time and now I haven't got a speed boost and I'm really far behind. Hooray, that's fun. Right, so the blue ones are shields. I don't think I'm going to win this race. Oh, something happened there, a little bit of a roadblock. I'm going past everybody. Yeah, the, lo the supporting races aren't very good. Fortunately. Uh, Basil the Bat Lord usually is quite good. Or oh, whoever's playing. Whoever the main racer is for the circuit is usually pretty good. Whee! Mm. And... Okay. Let, let me try and commentate because goodness knows I've been doing a terrible job so far. Um, you've got red bricks which are attacks. You've got yellow bricks which are traps. You've got blue bricks which are uh, shields. And then you've got the green bricks which are speed power-ups. And if you get a white brick it also levels up your weapon which is pretty cool. I can't remember where the shortcut is on this map. There's a shortcut on every map. Uh, oh well. Right, so... 
as I was saying, a white brick levels up your uh, currently held power up. So if you collect a green brick and then three white bricks, you can basically win the game really easily. Because you get the subtle weird warp thing. Come see. Usually you crash right into a wall when you activate it, but whatever. Oh, he's just used it. Got it. I never knew they uh, used it, but I've never seen anybody use it apart from Rocket Racer. Okay. So yeah, if you keep getting green power-ups, then you basically won the race, which is a bit cheap, but whatever. Whee! Screw you, Basil the Batlord. You're still ahead of me. Oh. Can I shoot him? Pew! Yeah, take that. And then I shall get a shield quickly. Get away from me. Oh, I just replaced my really good shield with a really crap shield. How stupid. Bye! So, yeah, this is LEGO Racers. It's a pretty good racing game, I have to say, for uh, PC. Um, and, I mean, there's not a whole lot in terms of kart racing on PC, so if you've got a few friends, this is pretty good. It was also released on N64 and PS1, and those versions weren't nearly as good, mainly because they didn't run at 60 FPS. Right, two, one. <clears throat> there we go, I got the speed boost that time. This is the track that I couldn't get uh, the time trial on, by the way. In case you're wondering. Right. Uh, I'm going to try going for the speed boosts again. Whee! Every, um... Every racer... Well, every particularly named racer, like Basil, has, um... A, a preference for what colour brick they'll go for. I think, I think uh, Captain Redbeard goes for red bricks, which kind of makes sense. Um, Basil probably goes for green bricks because he was using the uh, warp power up, which I just used then because I'm a big cheat. It's, it's a shame there's no way to disable that because uh, it just makes the game a bit too easy. Um, I can't remember what the other ones use. I think King Kahooka uses the yellow ones. Oh, wheelie there, nice. Physics aren't amazing, but I mean it's a kart racing game. You're not gonna you're not gonna expect the world from the physics. The music's pretty good. It's it's kind of all over the place, but that's sort of what you expect from Lego. Go! And uh, there's a little bit of voice acting, I don't know whether you can hear it. I'll uh, shut up for a bit so you can perhaps hear what the characters are saying. Yeah, they, they're very quiet, but they do they do say some things. There you go, just said that. Um, and e every head has a different voice, which is why I picked Black Jack Hawkins, because um, he sounds like he's got an amusing voice. Uh, and the standard smiley head's got a bit of a dull voice, to be honest. Uh, quite like using the uh, Captain Redbeard head, because he's got quite an amusing voice. He just goes, hey, hey, and all that. Rah! Okay, well, yep, I won that race. And that was amazing with my crap car. <laughs> Look, Willow the Witch, I've got her somewhere. I've not got Blackjack. I've got Blackjack, well, I know. I've not got Basil the Batlord himself, but I have got Willow the Witch. And I've got Alpha Draconis. Or Alpha Dragonis, whatever he's called. Alright. Two. One. I can't remember where the shortcut is on this either. Let's see. Do. Do, 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 do. Whee! It's, some, it's down the sides, I think, actually, the shortcut on this. Like where I just was. Sometimes you have to shoot a particular wall in order to get a shortcut. Like on one of the first... On the first circuit, there's a wall that you have to shoot. And already I'm, like, really far ahead. Fortunately, in LEGO Races 2, they removed a lot of the power-ups from this. They, they replaced them with uh, better power-ups. Unfortunately, LEGO Races 2 is a little bit more sluggish then, so we'll cover it in the future. Along with LEGO ISLAND! Oh yeah, um, one of these always has a thing that reverses your controls, which is a bit annoying. Whee! Right, I'll go and get that. Oh, I didn't get that. Let's just see if going down the size of this thing is a shortcut or not. Nope, that's a dead end. Fortunately, I had that. Ow! That hurt. 
<laughs> what other good uh, kart racing games are there for PC? Oh no! You got ahead of me! That swine! It's because I'm being an idiot and uh, trying to manoeuvre around really slowly. Right, well, bye. Yeah, what what other kart racing games are there for PC? I can think of Revolt. Um, I've not really got a whole lot of racing games in my repertoire. There's... What else is there? I know there's a lot of racing simulations on PC because really that's the only platform you can do a decent simulation. It's the only platform you can do a decent game on anyway. Hey hey, apart from Halo because that's amazing. Um, Wacky Wheels was one, but that just looks the same as Super Mario Kart on the SNES. And uh, that did a pretty good job of itself. Get out of it. Ow, that hurt a lot. That hurt a lot as well. Yeah, but he definitely goes for green ones, doesn't he? <clears throat> this bit's a bit tricky to get round. Oh, cripes. Oh, dear. Well, I've failed this one. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I can still pull it back. Whee! Nope. Okay, he's still ahead of me. This is not good. I reckon he's probably won this one. Do you have that same feeling? Oh! Get out of my way! Oh, for God's sake. No, I've screwed up so much in this one. And that's because I slowed down. Well, there's no horrible skull thing up here anymore. I can fire these off and they'll go and home into him. No! Very jolly music to say I've just lost. Notice that them lot are still racing because they'll suck. Can't skip this bit. I've got that coin. I've actually got a physical one of that, that gold coin up there. That's cool. Hooray! Alien Rally Asteroid. I love this one because it's one of my favourite themes. Insectides. Well, it actually mixes insectides and um, UFO together, which is good because they're the two coolest themes in LEGO. Actually, it's a shame. Um, they had this theme called Galaxy Squad recently, which was really, really cool. And unfortunately, they've cancelled it. And it didn't seem to be going on for that long. It's strange because I, I seem to remember all of these cool uh, 90s themes went on for years and years, like uh, Blacktron. Definitely went on for years. That was around in the 80s and uh, came back in the 90s shortly, I think. I know a lot about Lego. Um, so, yeah, this Galaxy Squad didn't seem to be around for very long, which is a bit of a shame because it was really cool. I uh, didn't really have a chance to get many of the sets. I've only got one, and that's a uh, big blue spaceship, which is very cool indeed. Oh, look, there's one of the insectoid ships there. Man, to have... I absolutely love the design of the insectoid ones because the whole point of them was that um, they, they were forced to inhabit this planet that was full of nasty insects that would kill them. So they had to make ships that looked like the insects so they could disguise and they looked really cool for it. Oh no, he's going to pull me back! No! Oh crap, and I've now picked up a yellow power up which I didn't want. What a load of rubbish. Okay, well, that's fine, there's a green one here. I'm going to use it at the right time. Like here! Whee! That green power-up is so cheap, isn't it? Imagine if you're playing this like in the tournament or something, you'd just get booted out if you kept using that. But I suppose that's that's kind of where the skill lies, being able to pick up all the, the white. And also, the shortcuts make it a bit redundant. I don't know. <laughs> what, what I'm saying is the green magic green power it makes the shortcuts a bit redundant. Look, there's me winning a trophy. Sort of um, a big one. And now Basil about Lord will be very sad and will give me his car. There he is, Mr. Grumble Pants. Look at him, he's all sad. You can see his eyebrows. Yay! What a cool car. Might drive that particular car actually because I like it. Oh look, there's Johnny Thunder. I'll do another circuit because why not? I like Johnny Thunder a lot. Johnny Thunder's cool. Uh, and actually, oh crap. Oh hang on. This is uh, remapping, remapping the controls. But when you do this normally, it uh, crashes the game. Oh man, I'm glad it didn't crash the game then. I'll just. Uh, Go and change my car so it's uh, it's Battle of Lords. Right, here we go. 
So, circuit number four, I think. Johnny Thunder. What a guy. It's a shame they got rid of him, because uh, they replaced him, actually. There was a, yeah... Uh, there was some sort of dinosaur theme, and he would have been a perfect fit for that, but they replaced him with some jokers. Yeah, I don't know. I don't care for him. Uh, I actually built a, a cool plane from that set. It was very, very nice. But it was a biplane, and biplanes aren't very cool compared to uh, World War Two. Uh, not biplanes. Anyway, I've got Basil's car now. Hey there, I have to warn you. Me and my car are ready to win any race. Good luck anyway. I'm not very good at that Australian accent. <laughs> good luck anyway, mate. One. Go! Whee! I know where the shortcut is in it, so I'm not going to use that stupid green power-up because it's cheap. I will use smaller green power-ups just to get ahead, but I'm not going to use that that one in particular because it's crap. Also, this ca this uh, track is like the Mirror Cups in Mario Kart. Bang! Hooray! I rock. And if anybody gets ahead of me now, I can shoot them with big rockets. I've played this game a lot. It's a shame. Um, oh no, I've got the stupid green power up. Quickly, change it for a shield that will last forever. Uh, yeah, it's a shame I can't play it with anyone. I can play it with someone on the, P on the PS1, but it's a bit crap on PS1. Because it's not the PC. PC rocks. Oh dear, I crashed into a thing. Somebody got ahead of me and he sounded a lot like a pirate. I think I need the green one here. Oh no, maybe not. No, that would just make, get me far too far ahead. The cars do feel a little bit slow. Oh my goodness. The cars do feel a little bit slow when you've not got a, uh, a, a speed power up. Come here then, Johnny. Come get some. Zapier! There we are. And now I will rush ahead. Bye. That zap power up's really cool. Hey! Less of that, pal. No! <laughs> right, I'm going through here just for that. <laughs> Didn't notice the big open pyramid. I think I used to have that pyramid, actually. Not the pyramid, the Sphinx. It's now in pieces, obviously. Take that. Uh, I used to have a lot of these, actually. I was quite into the old... Uh, Adventurous theme, mainly because of Johnny Thunder. What a character! Uh, and yeah, I had I had the Sphinx. I'm pretty sure I had a lot of the Orient Express stuff. Although I think my brother was more into that. Uh, I had a few of the dinosaur things as well. And what else was there? There was the 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 thing with the the thing the people that looked like the Islanders. Um, that track that I was on before with that golden coin, I think that came from the adventurous theme. Which, so it's sort of mixing and matching almost some of the themes, which is cool. I like that. This is Explorians, of course. And there is a shortcut, but you need to get the code right. And I've not got it right, I don't think. So it's blue, red, blue. I need to remember that for next time. Bye bye, Johnny. Bye bye, Johnny, again. Johnny Thunder is such a cool character. And we'll get a shield in case he tries to shoot me. Oh! Pigs. You what, pal? Oh, I just... <laughs> that was no good whatsoever. Now we'll get another white brick. So it was blue, red, blue, wasn't it? Blue. Red. A uh, blue. And then I can go to here. Yay! Cool. Oh, I can look behind myself. Oh, you get lost. I think he just rammed into me, giving me all his momentum. Great work, Johnny. I'm sure you're very proud of that. He's tailing me. Urgh. I think I used to have his car as well. I think mo both me and my brother had uh, Johnny's car. You want some? Ah! Come get some. Whee! And then I have finished. Good. Explorings is something that I actually want to get hold of because uh, they've got some cool stuff. But not as cool as insectoids or UFO. 
I'm just looking up on my shelf to see what other cool space themes are out. The original Blacktron stuff was very cool, and some of the future run as well, which was a continuation of the classic space theme. Go! I don't know where the shortcut is in this one. It's something to do with that house I'm seeing to remember. Yes, this has come out a long time ago. Didn't actually have the full game until I got it on PS1. Um, what I did have was the demo. And I played that a lot on PC. I used to play a lot of demos on my old Aptiva. And I got a lot out of them. Um, Jazz Jackrabbit demo, I played that first episode so many times. So not bored of it, actually. It's, it's a really cool episode. And I absolutely I'd love flipping Tube Electric from Jazz Jackrabbit. I seem to mention Jazz Jackrabbit in far too many videos. It's because it's a cool game. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, I had the demo for this. I had a lot of LEGO games back in the day, actually. I had LEGO Chess. I had uh, LEGO Creator. That was a pretty good one. need to get hold of that again. Um, there was also LEGO Racers 2, as I mentioned before. Pretty good. Although not as cool as this one. Um... The racing mechanics are a lot better in the second one, though, I must say. Uh, what else is there? There's Lego Island, which I've mentioned. Lego Island 2. I played the demo of that, and that was a crappy demo. It just had you skydiving onto a target. Didn't really explain much about the game, which is a shame. Um, and there was something else. Rock Raiders. Yeah, I've still got that, actually, on CD. I've not got the box, of course, and the box is hideously expensive. But uh, yeah, had that. It's a fantastic game, is that? It's sort of an RTS almost. Well, it is an RTS really. It's a, it's a, but it's not got much focus on combat, which is good. There is combat. Oh hell! Excuse me for a moment. <laughs> Somebody had burnt something. Right, yeah, there is combat in Lego Rock Raiders, but not a whole lot of it. Sometimes you have to fight off rock. Rock monsters. If you've ever seen the Rock Raiders theme, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I say rock monsters. These big brown lumps of nastiness that come along and try and nick uh, crystals. The whole point of Rock Raiders was a lot of people were marooned on a planet and they had to get energy crystals to try and get back. And yeah, the Rock Raiders game takes that theme and runs a very long way with it because it's very cool. And yeah, it's, it does control like a strategy game. It's a bit like. Um, it is a bit like Age of Empires. It's obviously very, very simplified, but it's still it's got some quite good um, stuff in it. I haven't played it for years. <laughs> but um, there's a weird thing you can do where you can sort of control a, a minifigure specifically. Like, you can go into first person mode and go and drill walls and stuff, which is kind of cool. Something that I've never seen another RTS do. Oh, why did it go that way? I wanted to get to the shortcut. God's sake. Um. Yeah, I've never seen an RTS allow you to control a single character apart from Halo Wars on the 360. And let's face it, Halo Wars isn't exactly the best um, example of an RTS. Oops, sorry. Well, at least I'm ahead now. Yeah, Halo Wars isn't the best example of an RTS I've ever seen. Probably because it's on console and consoles don't work for RTS. Yep, I can bash consoles all day because they're not as good as PC. Get out of the way, Johnny. I'm going through here. Bang. Don't know why I found that. There's another one here, probably. Yeah, I'll have to cover Rock Raiders at some point, because it is a really, really good... Oh, man, I'm floating. Physics. Wow. <laughs> Flipping hell, that was unexpected. Um, yeah. I'll have to try and get it working with modern system because obviously it doesn't work that well because it's an old game. This one works perfectly though. Some, it's weird, some games work absolutely fine on modern systems and other games just completely crap out. Which is a big shame because there are many old games that are very cool and thank goodness for GOG for um, making them all work properly. Switch the stream without off Jazz Jack a bit, isn't it? Or this! This, this actually, yeah, they should, they should try and sign a deal with LEGO and get these games onto GOG.com. That would be cool. Sorry, Johnny, you've been ousted once again. Look at him being all sad. Ho oh, oh. oh, ho, oh, yes! Okay, well, that is LEGO Racers for PC. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It, if you want to get LEGO Racers, I recommend getting a big box, because big boxes are cool. But you've got have room for a big box, are you just not bothered about spending so much money on a piece of cardboard? Then get it on DVD. It's available on the LEGO Masterpiece Collection. I also recommend seeking out the alternative installer 
uh, and we'll put a link for it in the description below. I'll also put a link to Amazon or something, and maybe, yeah, Amazon will do. A link to the Masterpiece version. And there we have it. And we are left by Sam... It, this guy didn't really have a particular name, he was named all sorts of things like Sam Sinister and Mr. Hates and all that. Right, well, I'm done, so I'll catch you all next time for some more relatively unknown stupid old games. Cheerio!